What's up, buddies? Well, I'm back, and this time, this video is for all my drone loving friends, and yes, there are a ton of them. And even this video is being recorded on a company that makes awesome drones that is DJI. Yes, this is my DJI Osmo Mobile. Now, ever since the DJI Spark has been launched, well, it has absolutely set the world on fire. The world of people who love drones. Many of you know that I already own a Phantom 3 4K Professional, which is an absolutely awesome drone. <laughs> and can be used for professional purposes professional filming and everything however after the dji mavic has been launched everyone of us have been interested in small sized drones and after the spark has been launched i have been getting messages emails asking me to advise if uh, my friends my youtube friends should go ahead and buy the dji spark that is if they should import a dji spark from america or any other place from overseas if you haven't already watched my previous videos about drones that is most important drone legality in india do watch that video for detailed information about drone legality you would see a card up in the video right now and do click on the i card or you can see the link in the description or at the end screen and do also watch another video that is basics of drone flying that would give you information about basics of putting a drone together dismantling it and flying it now i don't own a dji spark yet but i'm extremely interested i'm as excited as most of the world is but i own something very similar to the dji spark but of course not as advanced as the dji spark that is this pocket drone check this cute thing out now this is very similar to the dji spark considering the size this is very very small let me show you uh, by putting my cell phone beside it my cell phone is actually slightly bigger than this uh, small pocket size drone and they will kind of it folds in and becomes very very small compact and another similarity of this pocket size drone to the dji spark is that this also uh, I mean you have to fly this pocket size drone using your cell phone app uh, using Wi-Fi and some information about this cute little drone that I have with me the pocket drone this is something that I got from gearbest.com g-e-a-r-b-e-s-t.com the link for this product would be in the description of this video this uh, is on sale right now and it costs only about $40 for zero it's, it's a fun drone uh, it doesn't shoot in HD but it has a video camera right here and uh, well if you like to have some fun you can definitely buy uh, one of these now after all the introduction that I've given you let me get to the bottom line should you buy a DJI spark overseas and import it to India well keep a few points on your mind point number one if you have seen drone videos of your friends or my drone videos where uh, we were flying the bigger drones like the DJI Phantom 3 or the Phantom 4 and then if you have got inspired to buy a drone and if you are thinking to buy the DJI Spark then no do not expect the same kind of drone filming quality on the DJI Spark Do it. 
considering few factors. Point number one. The reason why a Phantom 3 or a Phantom 4 can give you such cinematic shots is because how good the gimbal is. Like what I have in my hand right now, this is a DJI Osmo gimbal and no matter how I move, you would see how smooth it is because this is a 3-axis gimbal. But the DJI Spark does not have a 3-axis gimbal, it has a 2-axis gimbal. Now, uh, on one of the axes, it does not have stabilization. So remember when a drone is flying in the air and when you are doing, I mean when you're trying to do cinematic shots, one of the most interesting cinematic shots would be panning around, I mean panning the drone from left to right and also tilting it. And when you're doing that, the camera and the drone would shake and it would not be as smooth as the DJI uh, phantom 3 or the 4 so keep that in mind you're not going to get the same cinematic quality on the dji spark also keep another very important point on your mind that is the dji spark currently is still very very new in its beta stages so any product which is in its beta stages would have some level of flaws so now Again, if you were living in America and if you would have bought a DJI Spark and if you encounter any issues with it, well, you could send it to DJI service center and they would fix it for you or send another drone for you, correct? But you're living in India and we don't have that option. Once you import a DJI Spark to India, after that you are on your own. If there are any issues with the machine, you would not be able to send it all the way back to America, get it fixed and get it back to India. Another point is the way you'd be controlling the DJI Spark. Now, the Phantom series and the Mavic, they have a proper dedicated remote controller with joysticks. But the DJI Spark still does not have that. The DJI Spark would have to be flown using your cell phone's touchscreen controls. Now, trust me, it sounds very glamorous, very fancy, very high technology, but it does not work out so well in real life. We have all have played we all have played video games on our you know cell phones, right? Do you find them as easy or as good as playing a video game with a proper you know joystick? No, you don't. So touch screens in the end have their limitations. And when you are buying a drone to do cinematic shots, probably you would not be able to do it so well. Now you would say the DJI Spark can be controlled using your palm gestures and all that, but do you really want to fly a drone and just keep doing this with your palm, go up, go down? No, you most of the time will not be flying a drone to film yourself. You'd be flying a drone to film beautiful, you know, areas like, the mountain behind me, a sunrise or something very nice. So uh, in those cases, you need a proper controller and not your palm to control it. I mean, this is awesome technology. I am a DJI uh, fan myself, but I'm being realistic and I'm being practical here. And also this is only a discussion video uh, where I'm answering the questions to all my friends who have written to me. So it's nothing personal here. Uh, I'm also uh, looking forward to buy the DJI Spark sometime whenever uh, possible. And remember, smaller drones are very vulnerable to changes in the wind conditions. Uh, that is the reason professional filmmakers would always use a bigger drone. Now, Phantom series, the 3 and 4, and even a Mavic, to that, that level can take some uh, serious winds but I'm not really sure how good the spark would be in serious winds because it's really really small now to encounter crosswinds headwinds tailwinds gusts gust is sudden change of uh, wind speed to encounter all of these and still have a stable flight the drone needs to have bigger Propellers now DJI spark has really really small compact propellers. So this is something you got to keep on your mind Now the most important factor forget all of this if you still 
would like to go ahead and buy a DJI Spark in America and get it to India, then remember, according to DGCA, that is Directorate General of Civil Aviation, importing a drone, a quad, to India is not allowed anymore. That is the law. Now, I have been getting comments, messages saying that my cousin lives overseas, my friend, my relative, or I am flying to America, shall I buy one? This park is so small, I'll put it in my check-in baggage, who would know? But custom department officials have been looking for uh, drones very seriously. They would scan your check-in baggage and the moment the x-ray machine shows propellers attached, they would pull your bag over and there is nothing that you can do after that. They would just say that importing drones is not allowed and there, you can't even get away by paying formal custom duty. They would just take your drone and say that bring your permissions, bring your clearance letters, blah blah and whatnot, and then you can take your drone back from here. But you know, working with the government, it would take forever. So keep this on your mind. But yes, if you're lucky, if you're very lucky, then the custom department official probably would not notice the DJI Spark in your chicken baggage, or uh, he might be someone new, uh, and might not recognize it and you might get lucky and he could pass your baggage through the x-ray machine and you know you can bring it to India but after that there's another thing that you got to keep on your mind now anything that happens in our country where uh, the government just says that okay to fly drones you need permissions or you need proper training or licensing or whatever now what happens is that just like what happened to motorcycling uh, there have been some people who given motorcycling a bad name but after that every cop thinks that any rider who has worn riding gear and uh, proper safety gear is an illegal racer on the roads and they would pull you over and say riding a uh, high-powered motorcycle with riding gear is illegal. They would say it's illegal. I mean, you really can't argue with them anymore. And we, most of us have faced situations like that in our life, correct? So this is an example which is very relatable with drones. I have faced a very, very serious issue recently. I'm going to do a dedicated episode on that. But remember, if a cop, a police officer, finds you even holding a drone in your hand now it doesn't matter it could even be a small drone which i had in my hand earlier in this video even if you had that in your hand he would still charge you with criminal offense and this is taken extremely seriously now things were different about one year ago now if you don't have proper drone flying license things become very very serious of course you can go outside the city and fly but if there's a police officer the risk is something which you would have to uh, keep on your mind so even if you import the drone you would still have to uh, understand the level of uh, risk and the consequences that you'll be putting yourself into and all said and done I'm also looking forward to buy a DJI Spark. I don't know how, when, as I mentioned that, I'll give it time. Let all the bugs, the beta stage get done. Uh, and when the remote control is launched and tested, probably I, <laughs> but I still don't know how I'll import it. As I mentioned, it's not allowed to import it. Uh, but having a DJI Spark as a secondary drone, because I already own a DJI Phantom, uh, 4k professional which is a really really good drone for high-end filming now if i have a dji spark with me as a second drone where if i'm going on a motorcycle ride i can put it in my tank bag stop somewhere take some nice cinematic shots if that can be done that can be really really awesome so that is it friends i'm done if you have any questions uh, do comment i'll try and answer and if you're not subscribed to me, you're missing out on about 500 videos. And do check out both the two videos that I mentioned. One is drone legality in India. Other one is the basics of drone flying. Uh, the links are in the description of this video. Bye-bye.